a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel as the good people of Edo State elect a new governor on September 21st, the question that should concentrate on minds of Edo people, according to Amechi Kejugu, he said it's not only how to make the best choice, but to ensure that the will of the people prevails. But guys, before I go bring the food gist, I welcome you back to my wonderful channel, Reality Letters to see your home of things and politics. As we've been given a back-to-back -back update and information, I see the hot. So if today is the first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notify whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers thank you so much for joining so guys let's proceed as the good people of Edo state elect a new governor on september 21st the question that should concentrate all minds of Edo people is how not only to make the best choice but to ensure that the will of the people prevails according to kejo garbage he said that as easy as this tax is in other claims that profess democracy he said that it is challenging in Nigeria because of the abounding political ringleaders to whom free, fair and credible election is a taboo. Because they belong to the school of thoughts which believe that political power is not going to be served in a restaurant. <laughs> you can say that when people believe that political power is not served like that, they at all costs fight for it. They grab it and they run with it as it was the case in 2023. But as DK Chukumereji, the spoke word and performance poetry artist and author noted that nobody who steals political power will use it for good. It's the third time social the former governor of Edo State and president of the Nigerian Labour Congress is one of such ringleaders, according to Ike Chukabeji. He said more than anyone else. He said what Adam Sochomole wants is that anyone leading Edo State must bring back Edo State to the APC column charge. To be sure about that, and nothing is wrong in Edo people deciding that, for whatever reason, that they have had enough of the governor, God University, let people Democratic Party government, and they want to pitch their tent with another political party. Now, never mind that, Obasiki was a member of the All Progressive Congress until four years ago. And indeed, he served his first term as an APC governor. But any such decision is the beauty of democracy, as long as it is a product of free, fair, and credible election. Ikechuka Meji said that sadly, that is not likely to be the case because Adam Soshomole, at worst as ever, is polluting the political space with his unbecoming rhetoric. That at 72, the former national chairman of the APC is no spring chicken anymore. As former governor and now senator representing Edo North Senatorial District, his voice should be that of reason and moderation, just like the voice of Chief John Odige. Chief John Odige is a former Edo State Governor and APC National Chairman, and he played the role of a statesman up to the hit. As much as he would want his party to win, he is also decent enough to appreciate that it is the call of Edo people to make, not his. That is what it takes to be a Democrat. Not so for Adam Sochomole, the way Ikechuku they talk up. He said Adam Sochomole is a man adapted to roasting the political rabbles that it is either his way or the highway. That Adam Sochomole is at it again just as he did in 2020 when he led the APC candidate Pastor Sagezi Yamu to the political Gogota. And in him, Obasiki blew out in a dopo column of September 2020, he posited that Adam Sushule was the reason why Ezin Yamu, a man reputed as a grassroots politician, took the drubbing he did in the 2020 Edo government election. So, which in Kichiku, they try let us know that Adam Sushumole was the former governor of Edo State and he's a SAC APC national chairman. That is quite a character. <laughs> that Adam Sushumole is a kind of somebody that is corny. He really wants the ABC governor to be under his watch. But Edo people no want on that way. <laughs> that as the former Nigerian Labour Congress, that he loves picking fights. Most of the times, he normally do that intentionally. That as the smart aleck he think he is, Adam Sochomole behave as if he knows everything. <laughs> My people is for bad. They say if you check him, we'll now go see. See, that Adam Sochomole is the best hated man in the APC today because of what 
he is doing <laughs> my brother whisper but uh, okay, Amerji said that four years ago that he stated that Adam Soshomole's APC or Basaki Yamo Odezi echoed the allegatory of the tortoise who embark on an ill advised trip and they vowed not to return until he was disgraced. Indeed, he was humiliated because he was blinded by infantile hubris and quest for vendetta. They said Adam Sosobole could not correctly interpret the handwritten on the wall, even when he saw and read it. Sadly, the former governor, Adam Sosobole, has embarked on the same infected trip once again, throwing caution to the winds, lacking in basic political decency and decorum. They say he has taken pride in asserting the sensibilities of Edo people. <laughs> He has been embodied by his new status as a senator and the fact that his political soulmate Bola Metunobu successfully snatched Nigeria's presidency in 2023 and ran with it. So Adam Sosomole thinks now that is the opportune time for him to finish the job they started in 2020, even when Governor Gordon Obasiki is no longer on the ballot. In doing that, the former Labour leader has decided to make Asui Hodalu the candidate of the PDP a collateral damage in his world of frustration with his successor. So again, supporting the APC candidates Neto Mondo Bobolo wouldn't have been an issue if he played by the rules of the game. But he hasn't because he is incapable of playing decent policies, devoid of several dramas. <laughs> Name calling and foul language. Edo people deserve better. According to Ikechuku Amechi, he said he is not from Edo, but he strongly believed that Nigeria's redemption lies with the federating unit and not the ever bubbling federal government. Kesha Rezi said that he believed that any state in Nigeria that has an Asui Hodalo as a governorship candidate should consider themselves lucky because he believed that for our country to stand any chance in the community of nation, the politician should have a second address. <laughs> a career position in the Nigeria contest is a fraud that who lives off the state. A person cannot be the selfless transformational leader that a country at the social, economic and political crossroads such as Nigeria needs right now. Tatasi Hodaro is a product of the prestigious King's College Lagos and he obtained his Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from the University of Ibadan in 1981 and his LLB from the London School of Economics and Political Science in 1984. So having worked as an associate in the law firm of Chris Ogubajo and co upon graduation from the Nigeria Law School in 1985, Yodolo as the founding partner alongside Femi Olubao set up the Bao and Yodolo's law firm in 1981. So he... He has all it takes to be the governor of Edo State. My people don't be small, but uh, he said if they check Asi Hodalo's resignation letter, <laughs> they will see what he wrote. That he decided to offer himself for public service to our dear state, no means say in the find our money. So it's okay for Adam Soshomele to prefer Mondo Bobolo, a career position, to an Asi Hodalo. Kechuku said that. Adam Soshomole cannot impose his preference on the highly designing and political savage Edo people. That the difference between the Asi Hodalo and Mondo Obolo is tantamount to light and darkness. So there is no basis for comparison. And those who still insist that education does not matter in leadership after the Mohammed Buhari disaster in Asurok are simply lying. That Edo people should be aware of such character. <laughs> and those who are insisting that Asi Hodo should be held liable for Basiki's alleged failures are delusional because, truth be told, Obasiki has not failed. That not only that, oh, said it is hypocritical for those who argue only yesterday that Buari and APC's failure had nothing to do with a Tinubu presidency to turn around today to deny Edo people the promise of Asi Hodalo governorship on the baseless ground that PDP has failed. That the Edo state governorship election is not about political parties, it's about individuals and their capacity to deliver on their promises. That Mondo Bobolo, typical of professional politicians, he has been packaged by godfathers. <laughs> that Mondo Bobolo had promised nothing and he's going to deliver nothing. <laughs> my people don't be bad. Conversely, he said the promise of Asui Hodalo governorship is fascinating. So the difference is clear and the choice is that it do people who stand on their ground and vote for that competent leader. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us.